Hi everyone, Councilmember David Grosso here. As you know, the council's been on recess since July 15th. We're coming back into session on September 15th, so I thought I would take this opportunity with this video to let you know what I've been up to this summer with my staff. First, we had a great opportunity to go and tour a lot of the urban farms throughout the district, including the UDC campus out in Beltsville, Maryland, where they're doing a lot of interesting things. Then, we spent some time researching and studying around the issue of mental health issues in the District of Columbia. There are many of our residents that are dealing with severe mental illness and trauma. And so we, with the help of the Behavioral Health Association, toured seven different providers, including at the end, a visit to St. Elizabeth's Hospital. I learned a lot about what it means to have mental illness and the fact that there needs to be early detection and there needs to be clear care for everybody throughout their life. People can exist and engage in society with the right help. St. E's is taking an approach that I think should be applauded. It's a human rights approach where everyone that comes in has the dignity that they deserve in order to try to get better, get back on their feet, and move forward with their lives. I was very impressed with the work that they're doing. I also had the opportunity to visit the jail this summer. The jail has had a lot of work at it, but there's still a lot of work to be done. And in order for us to actually treat all people with the human rights that they deserve, we have to continue to improve on what we're doing at the jail. I also took time out of my day to go and see the courts. I visited with the Chief Justice about the detention and shackling of juveniles in the courtrooms, trying to understand when it's necessary and why it's necessary, and then to create laws that can protect these juveniles. Many of them, as you all know, are in there for nonviolent drug offenses, and often it's before they're even convicted of a crime. So we have to be careful to respect their human rights at all times. At the same time, I had the opportunity to visit with the Marshal Service. They're the people that move our residents through the system, through the court system, through detention centers. And it's really important for them to also be aware of the human rights of every individual that comes through there. I just want to touch on one of my top priorities, education in the District of Columbia. We've come a long ways, and we still have a long ways to go around the education transformation that we're trying to do. Until we have a high quality school for every single neighborhood, for every single child, we haven't been successful. I want to report though that I think we're making progress and that if we continue to focus on it and we continue to engage in the way that we've been engaging, I think we'll see great gains over the next couple of years. So hopefully you'll stick with it. You'll give your local principal a chance. You'll go see the schools and you'll be engaged in every way possible. Now, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, for being engaged in my office and what we're doing here. Please don't hesitate to reach out, to st spend the time to work with me to make sure that my job is being done in a way that everyone can appreciate. Finally, follow what we're doing. Look at our Twitter accounts. I'm at CMD Grosso and my staff tweets at team underscore Grosso. And go to my website, davidgrosso.org. I've just recently posted two lengthy blogs about issues that are important to me. One about affordable housing where I address 10 points that I think the council needs to take on over the next year and the other on my mental health clinic visits. Both are extremely important issues that I hope the council can tackle over the next year to make a huge difference in the lives of everyone in the District of Columbia. So thank you again for your support. I look forward to seeing you on the streets. I look forward to seeing you here in the council and have a great day.